We cannot all be masters. Nor all masters cannot be truly followed. And as for Othello, I follow him to serve. My turn upon him. Cassio. That Florentine. He hath a person to be suspected of, framed to make women false. The better shall my purpose work on him. Heaven is my judge, not I for love and duty, but seeming so for my peculiar end. I am not what I am. Oh, now, my lord. Did Michael Cassio, when you wooed your lady, know of your love? He did. From first to last. Why dost thou ask? I did not think he had been acquainted. Is he not honest? Honest. My lord. Honest. I honest. My lord, for art, I know. And what dost thou think? I had rather have this tongue cut from my mouth than it should do offense to Michael Cassio. Come, Lieutenant. Not tonight, good Iago. I have very poor and unhappy brains for drinking. But one cup. I'll drink for you. likes me. Hail to thee, lady. Thank you, valiant Cassio. How now? What's the news with you? Now we wait upon your lordship. Oh, is not this man jealous? You are a fool. My dear Othello, 
My fair warrior. Good Cassio. Look you to the guard tonight. With my personal eye will I look to. Come, my dear love. Come, Iago. We must to the watch. Mm -hmm. of our general. I dare not task my weakness with any more. What? Man, it is a night of revels. The gallants desire it. To the health of our general. To the health of our general. General cast us thus early for the love of his Desdemona, who is for sport of Jove. Indeed, she's a most fresh and delicate creature. And when she speaks, isn't it an alarum to love? She is indeed perfection. She loves me. I never knew woman love men so. <sighs> Faith, sweet love. I was coming to your house. Good lieutenant, I think you think I love. Do I owe these terrible summons? An old black ram is tupping your white ewe. What? Have you lost your wits? I am one, sir, that just comes to tell you that your daughter and the moor are making the beast with two backs. Thou art a villain. <laughs> this is not unlike my dream. Belief of it oppresses me already. Oh, my soul's joy. My dear Othello, my heart's subdued. Oh, you are well tuned now. Fresh and delicate creature, divine Desdemona. My dear valiant Cassio, how now? What's the news with you? I was coming to your house, sweet love. Divine Desdemona. My dear valiant Cassio. Thou hast.
have stolen my daughter. How now, Cassio? You are not forgotten! Never more be officer of mine! Thou hast taken her virtue and stolen her loyalty, which she owes to me. Abused her delicate youth with drugs or foul charms. What drugs? What charms? What conjurations? Where am I cue to answer these lies? Who shall I go to to answer these charges? What's the business? My daughter. She is abused. She has been stolen from me and corrupted by spells and medicine. What say you? Did you beguile his daughter against her will and break other laws of this land? For such proceedings, I deny. As for your daughter, I won her of my own course of love. I have won her and married her. <laughs> no, a maiden never so bold. Uh, so still and quiet to fall in love with what she feared to look upon? I do beseech you, send for the lady and let her speak of me before you and her father. Gentle mistress, do you perceive in all this noble company where most you owe your obedience? My noble father, I do perceive here a divided duty. I am hitherto your daughter, but he is my husband. And as much my mother showed you preferring you before her father, so I do prefer Othello. Patience, sir. You must suffer the gloss of these new fortunes. Be as you have privately determined. Stay or go as you choose. I do love him. Come, dear man. We have reason to cool our raging motions. Poison his delight. Provoke him, that he may haply strike at thee. your house, sweet love. My dear valiant Cassio. Divine Desdemona, I love you. Look to her more, if thou hast eyes to see. She has deceived her father. Dead with grieving. Speak! Who began this? Uh, there are a kind of men, so loose of soul, that in their sleeps will mutter their affairs. One of this kind is Cassio. Oh, I swear, it is better to be much abused than but to know it a little. Speak, on thy love I charge thee. In his sleep, I heard him say, 
Sweet Desdemona, let us be wary. Let us hide Monstrous. our lives. Monstrous! Nay, this was but his dream. Tis a true doubt, though it be but a dream. And this may help to think in other proofs that do demonstrate that name. What? 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 To kiss in private. An unauthorized kiss? Or to be naked with her. Naked? Hour more, not meaning any harm. Oh, naked and baby, I'll go and not mean harm. Devil. Oh, my lord, beware of jealousy. It is the green-eyed monster which doth mock the meat it feeds on. Within these three days, let me hear thee say that Cassio is not alive. My friend is dead. Just at your request. Blood! Work, Madison. Work. Reputation, Yago. I have lost my reputation. Cassio, reputation is a false imposition. I've got without merit and lost without deserving. Yago! finds that you have suborned the witness, then he is falsely indicted. Heaven, keep that lie from Othello's mind. Let me go to him. He seeks not your company. The cunning whore of Venice, he said. I will be hanged if some evil villain, some busy rogue, have not devised this slander. Come, Desdemona, have faith. My wife, attend to thee. You must obey time. Matters of the state await. to know how this foul rot began. Who set it on? What in a town of war, yet wild? The people's hearts brimful of fear, in night and on the court of God of safety. FBI Director J. Edgar today asserted that the Black Panthers represent the greatest internal threat to the nation. As for the they lay hold upon him. If he do resist, they subdue him at his peril. Welcome the spirit-stirring drum, the ear-piercing five, the pride, pomp, and circumstance of glorious war. It is to be a violent commencement. Defeat our enemies with perdurable toughness. I shall steed thee better now. I know my prize. The worth of my play. What is he then that says I play the villain? I am not what I am.